In this video, I'm going to show you what the HTML head tag is, what you can do inside the head tag, and why it's so important to your HTML documents. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where I help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, hit subscribe then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. With that out of the way, let's learn about the head tag over in the screen capture. I'll see you there. Now the most important thing to know about the head tag is that the majority of stuff, actually nearly everything that goes in the head tag is hidden from your browser page. So the text you write in the head tag will not display on the page if you do it properly. And the, the text that actually displays on the page is found within the body tag. And on the left hand side of, your, of the video, we have the opening and closing head tags right here. They follow the doc type declaration immediately. So you have your doc type of HTML for HTML5. Then you have the opening head and closing head tags right after that. Now some very common things that you find inside of the head tag in HTML is the title. You have title opening and closing tags and that becomes the title of the page. Uh, so the title of the page will now become Higher Learning Lab. If you don't have the title defined, the title just becomes the name of the file or the URL of the page on the internet. So for example, on the right hand side, this is how the page displays currently. The title is what displays up in the tab up at the top here. And it just says html-page.html, which is the title of the working file. Now if I add the title tag and the words Higher Learning Lab in between, and I save this and refresh this page, we see that the title changes to Higher Learning Lab, which is much better for SEO purposes. The title is actually weighed quite heavily in SEO for telling search engines what your page is about. So you wanna have you wanna make sure you have a keyword or two in your title tag, just don't put too many, then you get penalized. Anyway, that's how the subject of this video. The subject is the head tag. So inside the head tags, we have the title tag. We often find the style tags, opening and closing styles where you can define CSS in between those two tags. You often have script tags. So we have a JavaScript tag right here. So we have the opening and closing script tags. And in between there, you can put in your JavaScript and those are among the most common things in the head. Uh, other stuff you might find, you include images, for example, of a favicon. This little paper icon right here, that's the default for the, the browser. But this is where you can define a favicon to appear, and that would be defined as an image in the head tag. You can import scripts, you can import pages, you can import all kinds of things into the head. And as long as it's done properly, whatever you type in the head section, I'm just going to save this and refresh the page, doesn't appear on the page. But if you do it wrong, for example, if you type the word hello in the, uh, the head tags, but you don't put them inside the appropriate tags, it's going to display on the page. So even though the head tag keeps everything hidden, you do have to wrap it in the appropriate tags to keep them hidden. And again, the most common ones in there the title, style sheets, scripts, importing style sheets and scripts, importing images, and just importing stuff into the head tag that your page needs to render properly. And that's some of the things you can do in the HTML head tag. It's a very versatile area. You put a lot of different code snippets in there. It's, it's very important. In fact, it's critical to your site. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments about the head tag, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. And next up is clicking on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more coding and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.